Hey what's going on guys, this video goes over the unboxing, assembly, and quick review of the latest version of the GoTrax GXL electric scooter. If you want to skip to a certain part of this video, I've placed timestamps in the description below. Based on company specs labeled on the box, this scooter has a top speed of 15 miles per hour, can travel a distance of 12.5 miles, and supports a rider weight up to 220 pounds. However, the specs are based on the weight of the rider. So if you're fairly light, you can get a little bit more speed and distance from the electric scooter. They also added a bolt lock for the folding hinge. In my opinion, this isn't really a necessity. However, the added bolt can add some extra safety to your scooter so that it does not, in the worst case, collapse on itself while you're riding. On the GXL series scooters, if you press and hold the red power button for a second, it will power on. You can cycle it through speed one and speed two. If you then hold the power button for a few seconds, it will power back off. 
However, there's a minor issue with the new GXL model where if you hold the power button and do not release the power button when it powers off, it will power right back on. Overall, it's a minor issue, just something to be aware of. Primary design differences between this version and the original GoTrax DXL are the brake setup. GoTrax removed the electric hub motor brake and the foot button brake towards the back of the deck. Instead, they've added a handbrake actuator on the handlebar to activate the rear disc brake. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and ring the bell for notification for more videos like this. Feel free to leave me a comment below. Be safe, be kind, and take care. I'll see you in the next video.